Hey YouTube, what's up? This is Nate here, and alongside the announcement Hey YouTube, what's up? This is Nate here. In my last couple of videos, I've been talking to you guys about uh, the new devices that Google announced today, which are shipping with Android 4.2 Jelly Bean. So in this video, I'll be covering what new features are included in Android 4.2. So one of the first ones on the list here is the new Photosphere camera feature. So this is kind of like taking a panoramic photo. However, you have the ability to go left, uh, up and down instead of just being restricted to left and right movement, as you can see here uh, with the screenshot of the feature there. So you'll be able to basically be able to get a lot more uh, in your photo using the new Photosphere feature. So let me show you guys uh, some of the photos that Google took using this feature. And as you can see, you can move up and down. Uh, I can get the sky up here and I can get the sidewalk uh, down here as well. And that's just stuff that you simply wouldn't be able to get uh, with a panoramic shot when you're just restricted to left and right movement like this. So you'll just be able to get a whole lot more in the photo, uh, which is pretty cool. So let me go ahead and get back here. Uh, to the features. The next one then is the new gesture typing. So now you'll be able to glide your finger over the keyboard on your device and it's going to come up with suggestions of what it'll think the word is and it'll go ahead and put that in there for you. You won't have to press the space bar or anything. It'll just know uh, automatically with an improved dictionary, they say, uh, that will uh, basically guess what you're typing and allow you to type a lot faster since you won't have to you know, uh, press the space bar or anything. It'll just know when to move on to the next word. So we'll have to see how that works, but it looks pretty cool. Next then is multiple user support on tablets. So this is awesome. Let's say you're sharing a tablet with your family and you want to be able to have your own setup so you can have your own applications under your username. You can have your own widgets, uh, home screen and stuff like that. Um, you know, if you've got a business with uh, or a company that's using a tablet, uh, this will be a nice feature for them as well. Next then is the ability to share what's on your phone on the big screen. So this is kind of like Apple's AirPlay feature. However, what's compelling to me about this feature is it talks about uh, using a wireless uh, display adapter that you'd plug into your HDMI TV so you could uh, mirror what's on your phone onto your TV. So uh, with Apple, you have to have an Apple TV in order to use AirPlay, which is 99 bucks. So if Google prices this uh, adapter that they're coming out with uh, pretty cheaply, maybe 10, 20, 30 bucks, I think it would be a really great deal. And and uh, you know, for me, I do like AirPlay. However, I don't necessarily want to invest in an Apple TV because I'm not necessarily interested in getting uh, the TV features of it, but maybe I just want AirPlay. And this is pretty cool. that They're just going to sell an adapter for that. So we'll have to see uh, what price Google puts that at. Next then is Daydream. So this is kind of just like a screensaver I would compare it to of a computer. So uh, when your device is idle or locked, it's going to display, let's say, photos here uh, on the home screen or other information that you'd want to put there. So the rest of the features on this page, I think, are basically what was already included in Android 4.1. So I'm not going to cover those again. Uh, but nonetheless, I like what uh, Google's doing here with these little minor incremental updates every so often uh, that really do add some nice features. So let me know what you guys think of Android 4.2 and a comment down below and I'll see you guys in the next video.